UK stocks pay some of the best dividends in the world and with share prices falling recently this has only pushed up dividend yields even further with the FTSE 100 now yielding 4.33%. On the back of one of our most successful videos to date, we shared with you five amazing UK dividend stocks, and today we thought we'd share with you another five, many of which I personally own. We love dividends because you can actually live on them, and it removes some of the difficult decision making about when to sell a stock because you're always earning an income from them. In this video, we're going to show you five of the top UK dividend stocks. Let's check it out. Welcome to Money Unshackled, the investment channel that sets you and your finances free. This is Andy, I'm Ben, and if you like what we say, click the like button and hit subscribe. Let's get into it. Number 1. BP Now this company is a colossus with a market cap of £106 billion. It's involved in all areas of the oil and gas industry, whether it be exploration and production, refining, distribution and marketing, petrochemicals, power generation, trading and so on. BP's share price was absolutely decimated due to the deep water Horizon oil spill in 2010 which cost the company billions of dollars. But Goliaths such as BP have the financial clout to not only survive but to come back strong. The world currently has a strong dependency on oil, particularly for transportation and production. This gives BP a reliable source of income as there has not yet been an alternative found to uh, oil which is reliable and affordable. The main threat would come from renewables such as wind and solar, but like all big companies it has alternative investments, in BP's case in wind power and biofuels. The dividend yield is an impressive 5.75% but has a worrying dividend cover of just 0.43 meaning that its profits don't even cover the dividend. This sounds bad but oil prices have been low for years and BP have continued to pay out awesome dividends from their cash reserves. In this table we can see the recent dividends and dividend cover. BP have not increased their dividend for a few years, but we expect this to restart once oil prices go up again and hence its profits start to increase. BP also pays out its dividends on a consistent quarterly basis, which is great for your cash flow. Number 2. Aviva The company provides customers with long-term insurance and savings, general and health insurance and fund management products and services. It has about 33 million customers across 16 different countries, which gives the company great diversification should one market encounter difficult trading. You might not know this, but the insurance industry is well known for paying out enormous dividends, and Aviva is no exception to this rule. One of the great things about the insurance industry is that it has a great deal of customer stickiness, which means that customers are likely to just renew their contracts over and over, year after year, providing Aviva with a reliable and consistent source of income. The market cap is £15.6 billion and has an excellent dividend yield of 6.9%, which is adequately covered at 1.28 cover. Annoyingly, it is not adverse to cutting the dividend when necessary, but has always resumed its growth. Number 3. AstraZeneca This stock is one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world, with a market cap of £72.4 billion and an impressive dividend yield of 3.55%. The dividend yield is not as high as others in this video, mainly due to the share price increasing quite substantially over the past few years. Just look at that growth. They have an excellent record of paying out huge dividends, but growth has been stagnant for a few years now, which isn't ideal. At least it wasn't a cut. One of the fantastic things about pharmaceutical companies is that their customers are often dependent on their products, making them a great defensive stock. It doesn't matter what the world's economic situation is, as long as people need drugs, they are going to have to pay for them. AstraZeneca suffered over recent years due to expiring drug patents, but their pipeline for future drugs is considered to be remarkable. Number 4. BT Group if you're from the UK, you'll know this company as a telecoms provider, which essentially has a monopoly in its fixed phone and broadband, a dominant position in its mobile position from its EE brand, and is a leading TV provider. I don't actually own this stock, but considering all this, maybe I should. It has a market cap of 23 billion, has a dividend yield of 6.6%, which seems to be well covered at 1.81 dividend cover. 
It has recently had a terrible decline in share price, but perhaps this makes this stock an absolute steal. Bear in mind that BT is said to face numerous headwinds, such as regulated price reductions in its open reach network. If these troubles do persist, will they still be able to pay the dividend? As you can see, they have been steadily increasing the dividend for a number of years and kept it frozen more recently. And finally, number 5. National Grid. National Grid is a multinational electricity and gas utilities company operating out of the United Kingdom and northeastern United States. It is focused on transmission and distribution activities and has a monopoly on these, albeit a regulated monopoly, which is great for investors as it offers stability. This one has a market cap of £27 billion and has an impressive dividend yield of 5.73% and its record for increases is truly fantastic. Just look at the dividend growth shown in this chart. In the 18 years shown, the dividend has almost quadrupled. The dividend does not appear at first glance to be well covered with only 1.3 cover, but being a utility company, its earnings are very predictable and it is the industry norm for low cover in the utilities industry, so this does not concern us. By the way, the surge in dividend in 2017 is due to a one-off special dividend arising from selling a majority stake in its gas pipe network. We hope that this video has given you some investment ideas and if you want more videos like this, please let us know. Question of the day, what are your favourite dividend stocks and why? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. On this channel we talk a lot about personal finance, investing and all things money. And if you want to see more great content, please click the subscribe button below. This is Money Unshackled, see you next time.